Hey folks, my name is Derek and I'm here to talk to you about Special Force 2. This is the first in a series of videos I'll be producing on Arab games, particularly Arab political games. My goal is to present these games to an audience unlikely to be exposed to them and try to put them into some kind of context. In video game circles, when someone produces a video featuring commentary over gameplay, it is sometimes called a Let's Play. While this game was not very fun for me to play, I hope that others will find the video interesting and engaging and hopefully informative. So with that, let's get into Special Force 2. Special Force 2 is the second in a series of games made by the political and military group Hezbollah in Lebanon. The Special Force games put the player in the shoes of a Hezbollah Mujahid, or fighter, in conflict with Israel. Special Force 2, which was released in 2007, is a digital reenactment of select battles uh, in the war fought between Hezbollah and Israel in the summer of 2006, which Hezbollah claimed to have won. The creators of the game made it for several reasons. Not only was it supposed to be a recruitment tool for Hezbollah, but it was also meant to be a form of resistance through the media. By highlighting moments of military success, the designers wanted to prove to the audience, which was youth, both Arab, uh, well, in Lebanon and across the Arab world, that Israel was an enemy that could be defeated. In the next several videos, I'll play through a number of the single-player missions available in Special Force 2 and describe what is happening. I hope you all find this as interesting as I did. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there are a number of different options. Here's the single-player, where you can choose uh, your difficulty level, one of five. Uh, whether you want to do a mission uh, for the army or a Special Force mission, and then you can, uh, well, for the army, choose one of three missions. Uh, there's the, the Battle of I uh, Aita, which you can play either day or night. Um, and then there are several others that I can go through uh, over the course of this Let's Play series. Uh, you can also play multiplayer, or at least you could back in 2007 when the game first came out. Uh, I haven't found any evidence of people continuing to play this game, but my friend who went abroad to Lebanon in 2010 says he went to an internet cafe and saw youth playing it there. So, at least for three years after the game came out, there was some level of interest. There's uh, a settings menu where you can choose, among other things, the color of clothing that you want your individual fighter to play with. Um, you can choose screen settings, sound settings, a whole bunch of different options here. Uh, you can also check out, ta-da, the credits <laughs> for Special Force 2. Uh, something that's very interesting to me is that a lot of the assets that you see in the game, the gun magazines and the animations that uh, the player goes through in order to reload are actually ripped straight from the commercial game uh, Far Cry, which was developed by the company Ubisoft. So if you see something that looks particularly nice in, in Special Force 2, likely it is actually from that original game made uh, by the, I believe it's French company. Well, with that, uh, there's not much else to show in this opening video. I'm going to go through, uh, in the next part, the first mission available, uh, the Battle of uh, Aita al Sheb. So please stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe to my video feed to see more Arab videos. And uh, thanks for watching.